Peace Service says it has instituted a court action to stop the two-day planned demonstration and subsequent picketing in front of the Jubilee House by the Arise Ghana movement slated for Monday and Tuesday. A statement signed by the Director of Police Public Affairs Directorate, Chief Superintendent Grace Ansa Akrofi, Sunday afternoon noted that the police resorted to go to court after talks with the pressure group uh, not to extend their demonstration into the night and not to pick it in front of the Jubilee House broke down. Hearing is set for Monday the 27th of June. Let's uh, go to the phone lines now and speak to Listo El Nana Poku. He's a leading member of the Arise Ghana movement. Uh, Mr. Poku, good evening and thank you for your time. Good evening and good evening to our listeners. What is your initial reaction to the Ghana Police Service uh, saying that they are going to court over your two-day demonstration and picketing in front of the Jubilee House? Well, I think it's, a, it's based on a bad faith decision. And I think it's something that the police should just conscientize themselves into believing that whatever we began with them has broken. And it's a path that I believe the police ought not to have taken. Initially, what we decided to do was to make sure we give them a three-week notice to be able to prepare and dialogue with us all through. In fact, dialogue never broke. Mm. Until we feel, we now have a feeling that the police is being manipulated by some strength. There's nothing like dialogue broken. So this is built on bad faith. However, we are yet to have a meeting. I mean, leaders are meeting tonight. And after we have met, we will do a, a clear publication of what we feel about what the decisions of the Ghana Police Service is. All right. So the police's decision to go to court, you know, from their statement is that talks broke down. And it is because they are trying to get you to demonstrate during the day and not from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. and continuing the subsequent day. What exactly is the reason behind wanting to demonstrate late in the evening? Well, people that are suffering close in the evenings at work, you have to notify people who are at work and are peace with the system. In fact, you can't tell people to, to, to stop going to work and come to take it with you. You are a member, a member by default. Would we have to tell you to stop going to work and come and pick it with us? So those are the things that went into our decision. You can't tell public sector workers to stop going to work and rather come and pick it with you in the morning. That's not right. Productivity will go low. We don't want productivity to go low. That's how come we decided to do that picketing from that time 12 o'clock till somewhere. We even discussed with them and, and conceded to their decision to have us do it up to 8 p.m. Mm. So if they say talks broke down, what do they mean by that? Okay, so my because understanding is you made this clear to the police that it is because you don't want productivity to halt. That is why you are shifting the demonstration to the evening. You made this clear to the police? Yes, that is very paramount. You don't, you don't tell people, public sector workers, to stop going to work and come and pick it with you in the afternoon. Okay. It is wrong. All right. And, and, and no, no, you see, it is, not, it is not in their right as police to decide when something to, should close. Okay. It's like going to church. You don't tell church, churches to close in the night or in the day. I mean, who are they to decide for, for us when to close? Right. And, and, and finally, what is... That we did not want to stress the police in the night. We were supposed to do that overnight. Okay. They told right. us they could, not, they could not do an overnight with us because they have some other duties to attend to. Mm. We decided to break at 10. And they still had a problem with us. And now we decided that, okay, we will do it up to 8. And they still decided to have a problem with the 8. Even when we have spoken to them at length. So this tells you the police service is being manipulated by some some strings, and that makes it very, very unprofessional a service to render to the public. All right, Nanapoku, my final question to you is, 
What is the reasoning behind wanting to pick it at the Flagstaff House? Why the Flagstaff I mean, House? That is where people that we have elected to be in positions to, you know, hold the public place are. I mean, you can't go to pick it to your father in, in, in the village where your father has got a house in town. I mean, where, where else do we go? That is the seat of presidency, and that is where the recalcitrant and incorrigible head of state, the intransigent president, that is his office. And he is the one we are, we are peeped at, the service. And so where else do we go? All in right. fact, there has never been a time that in our discussions with the police, we have raised a question as to where we want to take it. Okay. There has never been a time. In fact, it has never raised, you know, its head ever in our discussion. So we are very, very much, you know, uh, 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 dismayed and disappointed right. in their kind of, you know, uh, uh, self-introduction to, to that state. Okay, Mr. Opoku, you said that you're going to meet to take your, decide on your next line of action. The demonstration was slated for tomorrow. Is this still going to go ahead? It is. I mean, I mean, it's, 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 it's never going to be truncated. It's going to go ahead. Okay. We are going to go ahead and demonstrate. I mean, plans were far, far advanced, even before their, their communication to the public. I mean, this is a communication that you can smell strings attached. All and right. this is a political strength. The police should not allow itself to be manipulated by, by politicians. Thank you. Listo, well, a leading member of the Arise Ghana movement. Uh, certainly, your election command center and TV3 will keep an eye on this. Uh, keep you posted.